The Member of Parliament's intervention is timely in view of the fact that most of the students cannot afford especially the but mathematical when, set. Um, this BC resource comes out. Last, last year, the BC resource that came out wasn't too good. And this is something that we want to work on. So if um, the educational director was given the privilege to go further, she told that we did a lot of series, series of workshops for the teachers, for the students. And even we met with the parents of, of some of the um, candidates because we, we want to know the root cause of some of these failures. Some of them can be resolved, but some, those ones that cannot be resolved, we can let it go. But those ones that we can resolve it, I, I believe we should, we should work towards that. And we did that's um, not long ago and to be honest with you it is yielding very positive results we have over 100 schools 147 schools public not private ones and few ones have the computers so those who don't have are more so with this, those who are going to have it's going to help enhance teaching and learning the teachers will teach out of vacuum because it's compulsory subject for the BEC, they teach them theory. I mean, this the practical aspect will help the student. First of all, I'm Kwabi Williams, the assistant headmaster of Great Quality International School. And indeed, uh, our, our MP has really done well. Because um, last year, for instance, when we were going to write the exams, um, my people's, I mean, the JHS one and two, they were complaining that the, the, the seniors have stolen their assets. And um, right now, I'm very, very happy because I know definitely this challenge is not going to happen again. Many schools in rural areas can also not afford computers to facilitate information and communication technology education. Last year, for instance, some candidates reportedly wrote the BEC under a very difficult condition. School authorities say it had negative impact on their results. Ms. Oteng Mensa says the gesture is meant to change the narrative in response to appeal by education authorities for furniture for the various schools. The member of parliament assured them of continued support. As much as possible to come together and see how best we can resolve some of these issues. I know some of the schools schools their decks or their yes their decks are not so destroyed some of them is just um, partly broken and needs can be fixed but some of them is totally broken which you cannot do much about it so i think immediately we could we could um, assess those areas where it is not so damaged that we can we can maintain you know Ghana one thing that we are facing here is a maintenance culture you come in with something and probably just a little problem with it instead of them to fix it they will wait till everything is damaged and I think the last time I went around to visit some of the schools that was some of the things that I think I saw some of the chairs were not um, damaged totally some of them it can be repaired and so I think as a way of um, curbing this challenge. Immediately we can be looking at that and then with a long-term plan we can also be looking at um, getting some people to, to help us get more either monodex or dual decks for the students. A report by Mahmoud Mohamed Nuruddin.